Hi, it's Panda Movies here. Today I'm going to explain the British horror movie called The Others. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. Enjoy the video. Grace Stewart, who lives in an isolated country estate in Jersey, a channel island that was once held by the Germans, awoke one day in 1945 from a nightmare in the immediate aftermath of World War II. She is with her two small children, Anne and Nicholas, who both exhibit photosensitivity due to an unidentified condition. Mrs. Bertha Mills, a housekeeper, Edmund Tuttle, a gardener, and Lydia, a mute girl, are the three new servants that Grace recruits. Grace is informed by Mrs. Mills that she formerly worked at the same home many years ago. Grace starts to worry that unidentified others are present when strange things start to happen at the home. Several times, according to Anne, she saw a group of individuals inside the house, including a guy, a woman, an elderly woman, and a young boy named Victor, who insisted that the house is theirs. Grace commands a search of the home after hearing footsteps and unidentified conversations. She next discovers a collection of portraits depicting mourners from the 19th century. When Grace inquires about Mrs. Mills' prior experiences living there, Mrs. Mills explains that many people departed because of a tuberculosis outbreak. Grace gets sure that the house is haunted after witnessing a piano playing itself late at night. To get the house blessed, she dashes outdoors in search of the local priest. Grace asks Tuttle to investigate a local cemetery to determine if a family has been interred there that includes a young child named Victor before she departs. Tuttle discovers the cemetery, but Mrs. Mills orders him to cover the gravestones with leaves and tells him that Grace will eventually discover the causes of the mysterious incidents. Grace encounters her husband Charles outside after initially believing he had perished in battle. After being away for a while, Charles welcomes his kids back but acts distantly while he is there. Later, after leaving her daughter Anne to play in a spare room, Grace checks in on her. Grace discovers an elderly woman on the floor of the room, wearing her daughter's communion dress with the veil down, much to her disgust. I am your daughter, the elderly woman declares in Anne's voice. Fearful, Grace assaults the elderly woman, only to discover that she is really a figment of her imagination and that Grace has unintentionally attacked her own daughter. Later, Anne claims that their mother has become insane in a similar manner to how she did that day. But her brother is unable to recall this. Grace asserts that the war is done, but Charles insists he must depart for the front. The couple cuddles up in bed and remains still. The kids are yelling because the curtains are gone and the sunshine is coming in the next morning after Charles has departed. The maids are ejected from the residence when Grace accuses them of removing the drapes against her desires. The following evening, the kids sneak outside and find the gravestones in the nearby cemetery, belonging to the recently exiled servants. When the youngsters turn to face the servants as they approach them towards the graveyard in the pitch black of night, they flee in terror. Grace, meanwhile, discovers a picture that accidentally fell from the Book of the Dead and onto the floor beneath some furniture. The image shows the remains of Mrs. Mills, Tuttle, and Lydia, the three housekeepers who died in a tuberculosis epidemic in 1891. The kids flee upstairs and hide in the bedroom, where the other elderly woman finds them. Grace is instructed to go upstairs and speak with the trespassers by Mrs. Mills when she returns to the house. In a seance with Victor's parents, Grace learns that the elderly woman is actually a medium who learned via automatic writing that Grace smothered her children to death with a pillow in a fit of despair before committing herself. Grace comes to terms with the fact that the others are the family who have moved into the home and that she, her kids, and the housemaids are all actually deceased. Victor and his family depart the house after this manifestation of paranormal and spiritual activity and hand it over to the ghosts of its previous occupants. But now that they're gone, Anne and Nicholas's ghosts can finally enjoy some time in the light. Grace ominously declares that the house is theirs, while Mrs. Mills warns the stewards that other people will return to the house and they will need to learn to get along. A for sale sign is visible mounted on the gate as she is saying this.